Water Lily Artwork, Part 1. For this project, you'll need watercolor paper, watercolor, uh, water, a brush, and then later you'll need crayons and oil pastels. You're first going to start by writing your name on the back of your paper, and then you're going to flip it over. Make sure your paper is standing nice and tall, like a tall building, so it's nice and vertical. You'll open your watercolors, and I know what you're thinking, there's not enough paint here, but there actually is. The watercolor is kind of deceiving. It looks like nothing's there, but when you add the water, suddenly there's a lot of paint. So I'm gonna start first by getting my brush wet, getting all those bristles nice and wet, and I'm gonna add drops of water to my blue. All I'm doing right now is adding some water to the blue. Now I'm gonna mix it a little bit because, you know, it didn't look like it had a lot of paint. Now I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna go across in nice horizontal lines back and forth so that I can make the water part of my water lily pond. So basically we're going to take this entire paper and paint it in a beautiful blue. And it's okay if parts are a dark blue and parts are a light blue because it's water. You can add water to your brush each time that it seems like your brush is getting too dry and kind of needs a drink. And you're gonna fill the entire page so that it looks like water. And now, just like Monet did, we're going to add some reflections. So all I'm doing is adding some water to my green and then I'm gonna use the water from the cup and just get the edges wet. All I'm doing is adding water to the edges. Now, when I add the green paint, it kind of goes in the water that I already put on my paper and it helps it look like more of a reflection. So I'm just kind of moving it around so that it looks like the trees are reflecting on the water. And I'm gonna to continue to do this. I'll add water, just water, to the paper, and then I'll dip my brush in the green and kind of move it around. If it seems like the green is too dark, you can just get your brush wet, and then you can just add more water to the paper so that you can kind of push around that green paint. You're gonna to continue to do this until you have a nice reflection on both sides. 